Hi everyone, my name is Jared Hotchkiss. I'm here to talk to you today about my GoFundMe account for my best friend, uh, Justin. Um, so just to kind of start it off, a little background. Uh, Justin and I have been best friends for quite a while. Um, we actually met when we were kids, uh, back probably when I think we were either six or seven years old. The Game Boy Color was, was out, and he came over to me at a wrestling tournament and wanted to, uh, he wanted to play on my Game Boy. And that's, that's kind of how it kind of started for us. Um, stayed friends through middle school, high school, everything else. Um, I actually became more so best friends after high school in, uh, you know, in our late teens when we found out that we had more things in common. Um, we had gamed with each other up until that point, but really didn't become closer with it until um, we were, like I said, we were probably 19, 20 years old, and we also, you know, went hunting and fishing together and stuff like that, and really just found, you know, found that connection, and, you know, it was a little too bad that we didn't hang out more back then, but, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you just have to keep on moving on from that, but, um, so, between, you know, obviously with stuff going on with Rona and everything like that, we hadn't physically gotten to see each other as much. But uh, he had told me that, you know, he had been experiencing some pain in his back and that they had found like a tumor, but they thought it was benign and he was going to go in and have surgery on it. Well, after the surgery, they did a biopsy on it, took it for extra testing. Um, you have to excuse me, I'm not 100% up on the terms, so if I, if I misstate something, I, I do apologize, but... Um, it was on May 8th of 2020 that uh, he got the call from the doctor letting him know that the tumor was not benign and that he actually had cancer. Um, so obviously, you know, he, he called his family first, kind of let them know and uh, gave me a call that night and it hit me pretty hard, you know, it's... um. It's not an easy thing to, to hear that your best friend has cancer at any point in your life, I'm sure. And for him to tell me that when he, you know, he wasn't even 26 at the time, he's 25 years old, to hear your best friend call you and tell you that he has cancer, it, it really does hit hard. And so, you know, obviously, um, I say obviously, but... Um, you know, I did what I could to, to help him out and everything, unfortunately, with it and the, the pro, you know, different procedures and stuff he was going to have to do. He ended up uh, having to, you know, get out of work, and then you had COVID hitting at that same time. So, you know, for him to get his surgeries to do his medical procedures, he had to stay away from people uh, to keep himself healthy. And, um, you know, what, which for me, I guess... I was so happy at that time to, that him and I were gaming together because I got to talk to him almost every night, you know, on the comms, you know, have our headsets on, talking, playing something, just enjoying when we could because, you know, obviously he, he was playing and he had pain and stuff like that, though, from uh, the, the tumor and um, from the surgeries and stuff like that he was having. But um, I just felt lucky in the sense that I was still getting to communicate with him and see him and do something with him while that was going on. Um, so he's got the, the cancer that he has is called um, myopericytoma. In case you want to know how it's spelled, it's got it right here on the little wrist bracelet. Um, made those up. And uh, so it's typically not a uh, cancerous... It, it's typically not found to be cancerous. Um, usually you get little growths on like your hands or something like that, but it, it they're, they're usually benign uh, tumors, and he's one of the few people out there that has actually got the cancerous version of it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where, you know, unfortunately it's still spreading at this point, but um, after he told me, you know, he, he stayed positive which just blows my mind um, how positive he's been through all th this entire process has been really 
it's shocking. I, I, I personally don't think I have the mental fortitude, fortitude that to do what he's been doing through with, with all this stuff that's been going on. Um, I, just, just yesterday, actually, at the time of this recording, the day prior, he uh, um, had just another surgery. And so he had gotten, I had gotten the tax to su successfully come out of surgery and everything like that. It was like two, two thirty in the afternoon, and um, that was a little after five o'clock. I got a phone call, and it was him. And I'm sitting there, I'm going, you know, he had only woken up at like three thirty, four o'clock, and I'm going, it, it's been like an hour since he woke up, and I'm getting a call. Like th this is how awesome this guy is through all this. He. Uh, um, you know, the, the, he was worried about me and what I was thinking about this whole surgery rather than, you know, t you know, I would have been happy enough for someone to send me a text and say, Hey, he's awake. He's okay. You know, he's lucid and like, you know, just some information, but no, he, he figured I'm up. I've called my family. First person I'm calling now, it's gotta be my best friend. Like this is the type of guy that he is. He, he, he should be resting and he's, he's spending his time making sure that I'm okay with him being okay. So, um, you know, he's just been that great. And, uh, you know, he's just that type of person. And it's, and it's wonderful. And, um, one of the things, you know, I mentioned earlier is that the gaming is something that him and I do together. And I think it's, um, uh, one of the things that's helped keep him sane through this whole process is um, his gaming, and uh, he started streaming. Um, got a little bit of a, you, you know, he's got a smaller following, but you know, he does have people that do tune in and you know check on him. Um, so this is his little like symbol, by the way. I do have a little bit of his merch. Always got to promote my boy, but he, uh, um, you know, it's it, he, it's U seven V stoppable, but he, you know, he's a. Uh, uh, small time streamer, big heart, and he just, he, you know, he's just got that personality where you just tune in, and you just enjoy listening to him. And uh, but one thing that he always talks about with the streaming is that you know he's doing it on a PlayStation, he's using a PlayStation 4 cam in order to do it and everything like that. And it's not really that great of a setup for somebody that wants to do it seriously. And the more and more that he's done it, the more and more he's enjoyed it. You can tell he's changing things, he's getting better, and, uh, and so he's been talking a few times about getting a gaming PC. Problem is, is obviously with everything that's going on, uh, affording a gaming PC is not his top priority. He's said multiple times how much he'd love to have one, but he's got to take care of his bills, he's got to take care of his girl, make sure everything else is taken care of first, and you know, that's tough. It's tough enough as it is, and with you know, not the extenuating cir circumstances. So, um, so that's where I'm trying to come in here and help him out. You know, I'm, I'm his best friend. He keeps on talking about it. I want to do something for him because of how awesome he's been. And um, unfortunately, I just I can't do it myself. Uh, not completely. Um, but I, I'm I'm looking for a little help in order to help build this uh, gaming PC. Um, I've already gotten some positive responses from people that I've talked to. Um, you know, uh, for example, we got the, the, the gaming chair behind me. Uh, that'll be going towards this setup. Uh, we also um, have someone that's been willing to donate a PC case that, the, um, that they swapped some other stuff out of and everything like that. Or potentially, if we don't like that one, we can't fit everything into it. We, um, you know, we have someone that we have a couple uh, choices as far as that goes. Um, we've got a gaming desk, it's uh, or computer desk. Um, it's a nice little L-shaped one that'll fit right into the corner of his apartment. If we can get that area, um, I think we can get this one area set up for him. Um, which, by the way, in all of this, before I go too much further, I'm trying to keep this a surprise. I'm not telling him about. This. Okay, so anyone watching this, please do not spoil the fact that um, I'm trying to do this for him because that's that's kind of the part of this is I, I want to give him something without him having to know. I don't want him to think anywhere in this process that he, you know, uh, that I felt that it was owed to him or anything like that. I just I want to surprise him. I want to see that look on his face when all of a sudden there's this gaming PC when he gets home. Like that. That's that's what I I want to see. That's that's what I'm looking forward to the most. 
So, um, uh, so, so far we've gotten a, a few things. I got the process going. Um, I, I had built a gaming PC earlier this year with some, with, with some um, close friends of mine and everything like that. And uh, they, you know, they're more than willing to help me build this next one up for them. And so we've already started doing our research, kind of looking at into what options we have in order to fit into like his area and everything and you know obviously what we can do for him is going to be depending on our budget and like i said you know um with the different donations that have already been kind of starting to come our way i'm just looking for that little bit of uh looking for a little extra a little extra help anything that we might be able to get to um set up this area for him i mean here's a guy that you know truly deserves like anything I, I i just can't i i don't know how i i don't know how to explain it enough how awesome this guy has been through all of this and i just i really do feel that he deserves something like this to help him out with his passions his dreams that he's still pursuing even though he has all this other stuff he's you know and um it, it just impresses me and i love the guy so i i don't know what else to to say about him at this point this point um but i just want to say thank you ahead of time for any donations that might come our way um to help us building this and or if nothing else thank you for you know tuning in and watching the video and everything like that and um i know at the end of all this i would really like to do a uh, like i said i want to do like a surprise video uh maybe set up a couple like of my gopros and stuff like that get a reaction video of when he sees his setup and um and obviously i think i can post that to the gofundme account and you know i'd love to show the the end results and what what ended up coming out of it because i i think he would just be so grateful um so you know once again thank you for any help that um that you can give us and you know thank you for tuning in uh, it's much appreciated and Great day. I, I, I just I can't I can't say enough.